Hi, I'm Dr. Lily, and today we're going to talk about why you can't give babies honey. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at my pocket, pediatrician. Hi, I'm Dr. Lily, and today we're going to talk about why you can't give babies honey. In one of my earlier videos, I talked about how honey is a great natural remedy for cough in children, and I mentioned that you can't give it to babies under one, so I wanted to explain a little bit more about why you can't. So. Honey is a wonderful food, it's natural, it's got all kinds of great properties for allergies and all kinds of stuff like that, but it is not a good food for babies under one. The reason for that is there is a bacterium called Clostridium botulinum, which exists naturally in honey and it produces spores that actually lead to botulinum toxin, which is Botox. So you've heard of Botox, everyone has. It's the same stuff people inject into their wrinkles to paralyze the muscle underneath so that they look like they have less wrinkles and look younger. Uh, this same Botox exists in honey and it also exists in soil and in canned foods. And it can actually be very dangerous for babies. So when we look at honey, if you and I were to eat honey and if there happens to be some of this Clostridium botulinum in the honey, it really has no effect on us. As adults and older children, we have a mature digestive system that can process the honey, so most likely that toxin is never gonna reach us. And if it did, we have a pretty good immune system, so uh, even if the toxin were to be able to get through the barriers of our digestive tract, we would be able to fight off the infection. In babies, their digestive systems are not as mature, so they're not gonna be able to metabolize that as well. And then if the spores do build up in their digestive tract, then um, their immune system is not as strong either to fight that infection. So a little bit of C. botulinum in a baby can have a very devastating effect, whereas in an adult we wouldn't even notice that it was there. So what does it do? Basically we know that botulinum toxin causes paralysis, and one of the first signs you're gonna see in a baby is constipation. So if you've been giving your baby honey and they start showing signs of constipation, that can definitely be a, an early first warning sign and you should probably go ahead and get your baby tested and talk to your doctor about it. As the disease would progress or the illness would progress, then the, then the baby may start to show signs of regression of milestones. So if your baby was crawling, they may be unable to crawl. If your baby was able to sit up, they may not be able to, to sit up well and start getting kind of floppy. Floppy baby is kind of the hallmark word that we use with honey or with uh, botulinum poisoning in babies. So that's kind of that little keyword. If you hear floppy baby, the first thing you think of is, um, did the baby get honey? As that progresses, the medical term for that is called flaccid paralysis, which just means the baby starts losing function of all their muscles. And as it, as it worsens, it can actually, they can actually lose function of their diaphragm, which means they wouldn't be able to breathe and babies can die. It's kind of really hard to believe that something as innocent as a teaspoon of honey could kill a baby, but it actually can. What do you do if you think that your child has actually been exposed to a honey toxin? You should actually go to the hospital, talk to your doctor right away they can get tested and there actually is a treatment for it there's immunoglobulin that you can give the baby and that can actually treat the, the illness so definitely don't delay in seeking any medical care if you're concerned that this could have happened now I mentioned this can also be in the soil and in canned goods so there are three states of particular concern those are California Pennsylvania and Utah and I always think it's great for kids to play in the dirt um, I encourage my children to do so, but for babies under a year, this could be a problem, especially if you live in one of the three states where it's a definite concern. In those three states, it's definitely been shown that botulinum toxin is in the soil. So particularly if you are in an area where there's construction or farming, where the soil is being frequently turned over, there's a much higher incidence of those spores in that soil. And if your baby eats them, they could definitely cause the same progression of illness as if they had taken honey. So definitely something to watch out for in those states. You know if you put your baby in the dirt, the first thing they're gonna do is shove a handful of dirt right in their mouth. That's just what babies do. But you don't want your baby doing that, especially if you live in one of those three states. So California, Pennsylvania, Utah, especially if there's been any construction or agriculture recently, do not let your baby play in the dirt and eat it. The other thing is any kind of home canning. So if your grandma makes the best jelly or green beans or pickles or whatever it is that she's doing or your family is famous for something, don't give those things to your baby. If there's any chance that that canning was done improperly, there's a good chance that Clostridium botulinum is in that product. So, you know, it, whatever it is, green beans, pickles, eggs, whatever they're pickling or canning or any of those things, do not give anything that's been home canned to your baby under a year because if that C. botulinum is there, it could be fatal. Once they're a year old, all bets are off, everything should be fine. This is my son having a nice little taste of honey at 16 months and he really enjoyed it. 
but under a year you really want to do everything you can to avoid exposure to the sea botulinum toxin. Now people do like to ask me what about honey nut Cheerios, Teddy Grahams, Honey Grahams, any of those kind of things. There's not really any good data on that. People aren't going to go feeding babies something potentially toxic just to see if it might be okay. But the the general answer is no, just avoid it. Uh, even a small taste of honey can be very serious and have significant consequences for a baby. So even though those products are more processed, it's still probably not safe. And so we don't recommend anything that contains honey. That also would include any other products like cough medicines and things like that that contain honey. Like I said, cough medicines are no good anyway, but anything containing honey, do not give it to your baby under a year. I hope this has been helpful. This is Dr. Lily with My Pocket Pediatrician. Please subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, and I look forward to hearing from you. When the doctor says my child has a condition, I'll learn more at my pocket pediatrician.